happy fall, y'all. We are just starting the fall season and uh, it is time for me to clean up this mess. And well, I don't wanna call it a mess. This is all of the herbs and the seeds that I've been saving. And up here, and you may not be able to see it, um, there's a lot of flowers that I was saving. And over here I have even more things and I have a lot of my fertilizers and stuff over here that now it's time to clean out. So I feel like today is a good day for this project. Hi, doggy, you wanna stay with me? I'm recording a video, sit, you sit there. Yeah, you sit there, no, sit. So, <laughs> she always wants my attention, yes you do. So I am um, just taking advantage of this opportunity that I have because my kids are at school and it's kind of a dreary day. It's not an outside day. So I, I thought I would get this project done because it is taking up too much room in my living room. And before I pack it up, I wanted to just talk about why I'm doing this, why I have all these things here, because in a lot of my videos that I take in the backyard, I talk about, I say this, I say that, and you know, so now here you have an opportunity to see how I do that. Doggy, you gotta go over here, I'm talking, sit. Sit right there, go ahead, lay down. Hey now, good girl, good girl, let me talk. All right, so what I have here are the seeds that I saved. Now this particular one is um, Tixie Coreopsis. And the birds actually like this, and there are so many seeds. So I'll save a couple for myself and um, spread some of them. So I do, like if I go out on a walk or something in the woods, I'll take some seeds with me and I'll sprinkle them around if I know that they're a native to the area. Um, and then I also make um, bird seed out of the ones that I know that the birds like. So like, uh, for example, this is a dried sunflower. Look at that, look at that shape, isn't that beautiful? I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not. Uh, but this I have dried out, it's nice and dry, very brittle and I can just pull it apart and I'll save a couple for myself as seeds and then give the rest to the birds. And I like to um, have something for them, for the ones that stay over the winter because that's usually by the time I have that done. So I try to do projects like this when I have a chance, which, um, you know, when it's not a nice day or if I'm not, you know, doing something else. So, um, and this, this section is all the seeds. Now I save seeds. This is not only a, like a, a need. I feel like it's a need to save seeds. I, this is a hobby. Like I just love doing it. I enjoy it. I don't know why. I just love the thrill of, you know, finding all of these, uh, different ways that nature puts these seeds together. Um, all the different seed pods that they're all. This is a Maltese cross. And these seed pods will begin to open more and more as they dry out and then they'll just spill their contents. So I try to get them right before they spill their contents and then I let them dry and then I spill their contents and then their seeds go in there and I collect them that way. And uh, something like the castor, these seeds are really unique. So I'm infinitely fascinated by the seeds of nature. So I don't know if the camera can really pick this up or not, but these are very cool. The castor, there's all, they're dry. Now these, when I handle them, I have to use gloves because these pointy things hurt and they get under your skin. And um, these are poisonous anyway. So um, I'll be, you know, handling those later. Now on this side, I have, um, some of the herbs that I saved and I dry them in all different ways all around the house and you can see here I have some fever few got my stuff a little bit I like to try to keep these in bunches because they're easier to handle that way um, so this is fever few and this is all nice and dry so once it hangs to dry then I put it in a paper bag and then it, it finishes the process of drying. And, um, and now these are ready to go into 
their glass containers and they'll be stored downstairs where um, it's not humid. It's, it's a good temperature down there. So all of these are my herbs that I've saved. And then I have some flowers that I saved for different projects that I'm doing around the house. And these flowers are from uh, oregano and you can see they're just beautiful. I love the shape. I love the color. They dry really nice. So these are totally dry and I'll be using them in different, different things. Um, and over here I make my own mega zinnia mix and um, each of my zinnias that are growing outside, um, when the flowers are done, I cut them down and I save them and I take pictures of them so I know what ones that I have. And this is a huge variety. I do the same thing with my marigolds and I save those seeds and I must have already put them away. Um, and then right here, I have um, tobacco seeds and these are very fragile. These, these wanna spill all over the place if I let them. So um, they needed to dry out fully and then I'll be taking each one of these pods and spilling them over to get all the seeds from there. So I really do think that seeds are going to be the currency of the future and I have a huge interest in seeds. Not only is it enjoyable for me to collect the seeds and to see all the different ones that I find and um, how they all look so different, I, I really think that um, it's just an important um, part of uh, civilization is to know how to keep our seeds and pass them on from year to year. Like I'm, you know, going to be teaching my kids, hopefully they'll be interested, but I'm going to teach them anyway, whether they're interested or not. I'm going to just show them how to do it because it's a skill that we need to have. And then also how to save, like here's mint. Um, this mint makes a really great tea. It's very calming for the nerves. It's calming for the stomach, the digestive system. Um, and it just makes a really great tea. It smells so good. So knowing how to take care of these herbs and make um, different things out of them, I feel like is a good uh, skill to have. So uh, that's it from this video, for this video rather, um, from my living room. I hope that this inspires you to get out and look at the different seeds that nature provides us. I could go into all these different kind of things, but, um, but it would, the video would be too long and I have bread baking in the oven and I smell it because it's cinnamon raisin bread for fall. So this is like a fall harvesting kind of thing to do. I'm taking stock. I am also going to be organizing all of my seeds for the next season and see what needs to get planted where and when and all that. All that is what we do now. So until the next video, I'll see you later.